is the educational support offerings at Fox Chapel High School. Um, I'm Dr. Dejanovic, um, our di your district's transition facilitator. And with me tonight to discuss our educational support offerings is Michelle Fisher. Michelle, if you'd like to introduce yourself, she's our educational support department chair. It's over. Okay. Lori, if you could go ahead and mute yourself. I think I can mute you. Okay, I went ahead and muted. Um, so the educational support department at Fox Chapel High School, we offer a wide spectrum of services. We really individualize based on individual student needs. And we do provide instruction in academic skills, social skills, or functional skills, again, depending on the needs of the student. Um, you may receive academic tutoring and testing in subjects. Um, we do have a life skills program. Ms. Fisher is one of our two life skills teachers. So we have two life skills teachers, a full-time transition coordinator. Um, Ms. Fisher is also our educational support facilitator. We have five full-time learning support teachers, one full-time emotional support teacher, and we have 14 paraprofessionals. So we have lots of staff. When your student is at the high school, you will have your IEP facilitator, and that person will be with you and your family for all four years. So you won't have a different support person that you and your family get to know. I will be the transition coordinator for every student for all four years, and then um, our IEP team will consist also of a guidance counselor. So we really support the families and the students with making sure that every student leaves us with a plan for what they're doing post high school. So post-secondary, college, training opportunities, as well as employment and independent living. And we'll work together to ensure that we have interagency connections to reach those goals. Ms. Fisher, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about how we match students in the educational support department with special education teachers. Um, what we do is we try to look at the student's disability and where their area of need is. And then a lot of our teachers at the high school are specialized in certain areas like our reading specialist. So if your child has a reading disability, we might connect you with um, Mrs. Grana, who is one of our reading teachers at the high school. If um, your student has a math uh, issues, then we might connect them with like Mrs. Dixon, who has a math background. That way, their main disability, their um, they have that main contact with their IEP case manager with that specialized background. So, so it's pretty exciting. Ms. Fisher knows I get really excited when we talk about the academic and social opportunities because we, um, the largest club at the high school, so you'll hear a lot about clubs and extra activities at the high school. Um, we have 55 clubs that students can join in addition to our um, music band and athletic offerings, but the largest club at the high school by membership is Best Buddies. So we really believe in inclusion at the high school. It is a social activity that students participate in meaningful friendships, um, both inside the school day and outside of the school day. And it's students with and without disabilities, ensuring that everybody's included in social opportunities at the high school. So that's probably, I mean, Ms. Fisher knows we smile. That's one of the things that we're most proud of. And I realize we're pres presenting this during a pandemic when we're telling our kids to not socialize. But um, we really do work on that. Um, we um, are at Fox, Fox Chapel High School was recognized as a um, champion school for inclusion. So you may know that we received, we're one of 54 schools in the country that received recognition from ESPN. And we're only, what, 11 schools, high schools? in the country that are recognized as a champion school. We have a unified bocce team that Miss Fisher coaches and we both coach unified track and field. So that's an opportunity where we have an equal number of students with and an equal number of students without disabilities competing as equals on those two teams. And um, we are, we should knock on some wood because we're reigning track and field uh, county champs and have taken students to go on and place at states. So 
we do really look at making sure that students are fully included. Um, we have many partners um, that the district partners with through the educational support department to ensure that your students, your children have those um, early work-based learning opportunities, um, dual enrollment while they're in high school, and we have that paid for through the Office of Vocational Rehabilitation. So we're always looking for new opportunities to ensure that our students are maximizing their potential. And um, in addition to our partners of our educational support offering, um, you know, I know that most of you are familiar already since your um, children have IEPs, their individualized educational program. We work closely with our director of special education, um, Mr. Tim Mahoney, um, to ensure that we are constantly looking at um, ways to keep all of our students um, at every ability level maximizing um, their post-secondary goals. I know we don't have a lot of time, but does anybody have any questions about the educational support program offerings at the high school? If you would think of something after you have had our session, um, you, our emails are on the brochure, which you can find on the eighth grade parent page. Well, and you can find it in the district too, and you can email us your questions. Yes, and you know, tonight is to get an overview of what our department offers. But if you have specific questions about your um, your child, please reach out to us, and we're happy to schedule a Google Meet with you and talk about um, high school offerings and educate, particularly the educational support department and the individualized planning we provide. So Rory, educational support does not replace an elective. We don't um, have, we're credit. yeah, we're, we're not a course. I mean, we do, we have peer helpers where students register, but unless this, um, we, we don't offer a credit, we will work with students. There's a term that you, eighth grade parents, if you don't have a high school student are gonna hear a lot called quality resource time or QRT. That's a time I can work with students. Yeah, and unless your child is in the life skills program, taking like resource math or whatever, they would earn a credit there. But to get the support from us, that's not a credit. That's just time that we build into the day to help support your student. Anybody else? Well, make sure that you know to reach out to us because, uh, thanks Kelly. Um, yes, we're really excited about um, having students, um, your kids come to the high school. I'm looking forward to working with you. Um, that's one of the things that I, I think Ms. Fisher and I want to make sure you know is that um, as the transition coordinator, I'm just as much of a resource to families as I am to kids. and. You know, we really want to make sure at Fox Chapel High School, we work collaboratively as a team because we want to maximize what our, our kids are doing when they graduate. So, mm -hmm. you know, going to four-year colleges, going to, you know, trade technical mm -hmm. roles and helping those kids really maximize their um, adult roles and responsibilities and be our good neighbors is what we all want. Well, thank you. We'll let you get to your next session. Thank you.